13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Hello, I'm Dave Cravassier. And I'm Kalina Estrinos. And right now on your 13 Action News Update, one week to go before K through third grade students head back to class. And Clark County commissioners say there's not enough crossing guards. So more than 600 positions are right now. Uh, they are open in Clark County. Part time job pays $15 an hour. And to qualify, you have to be at least 18. You also have to pass an agility and balance test and pass a criminal background check. This week, Nevadans 65 and older can begin getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Governor Sissel says pharmacy partners will begin to schedule those appointments after the shipments are received. Sissel says he hopes to offer the vaccine to those 65 and up at statewide events by March 1st. Now those age 65 and older and utility workers can make vaccine appointments at two sites in the city of Las Vegas on Wednesday and Thursday. You can go to the Veterans Memorial Community Center or Centennial Hills Active Adult Center but advanced registration is required. One woman is dead after being struck by a car over the weekend near Rainbow and Spring Valley. Metro says the woman was wearing all black clothing and was walking outside of a marked crosswalk against the traffic signal signal when she was hit. Now she was transported to UMC trauma where she passed away. The car stayed on scene and the driver showed no signs of impairment. Pretty good looking weather forecast this Monday afternoon highs approaching the upper 60s. This is a little bit above average for late February. Plenty of sunshine is expected through the afternoon and fairly calm conditions. The wind should remain under 10 miles per hour, so much improved over the windy weekend that we're coming off of. Temperatures tonight get chilly, not as cold as last night, but we'll all drop down into the 40s. Another great day Tuesday, sunny and 72, still calm tomorrow. But after a high of 70 Wednesday afternoon, it turns pretty windy Wednesday night through Thursday, and that'll drop Thursday temperatures to the 50s. All right, thanks, Justin. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com, and our free mobile app.